What's up all my fellow musicians out there? Welcome back to the channel. I am Demarius Jackson and in today's video we're going to go over how to play outside the changes over a basic a blues progression using just two pentatonic scales. So without further ado, let's get straight to the video. All right, first things first, I'm going to put up on the screen now uh, what I'll be calling a basic blues progression. Just simply a one to a four, back to a one, two a four to a one, to five, four, and one. Once again, I'll have all this on a PDF. If you just go to DemariusJackson.com, uh, my blog site, I'll have it there where you can download it for free. All right, so now the first thing that you want to do is know your pentatonic scales, your major pentatonic scales. Uh, so a quick overview of that, basically take a major scale, you're going to use the first, second, third, fifth, and sixth scale degree, and that is your major pentatonic scales. Get really familiar with that over the entire range of your horn up and down, be able to uh, vary the pattern and make sequences from it is going to be very important later on in this process. All right, so now what you want to do is figure out the key of the blues that you're playing in. So on the screen, I'm going to be using it. Mine isn't going to be in G, essentially. Concert, B flat, but my G as I'm playing the saxophone, the alto saxophone. From there, you want to go up a minor third from the key that you're improvising in and use that major pentatonic scale. So essentially, I'm in G. Go up to the minor third that's going to be B flat, and I'm thinking B flat major pentatonic. Now, why does that work? Let me put this on the screen as well. It's essentially, you have a B flat, a C, a D, a F, and a G. Well, if we use that over the context, it sounds pretty much like a blue scale minus that uh, tritone in there, that C sharp in my key. All right, so that's essentially why that works over there. So once again, get really familiar over playing uh, B flat major pentatonic over the G. Let's cut to a clip of So now that we have that first step down, you get real familiar with using the minor third above the key of the blues changes that you're in and playing that major pentatonic. Now here's the outside part. Uh, first of all, how do we play outside the key? Well, really you can play anything. Let's just keep it real. Uh, but there's, a, I'll say, three good ways that you really want to sound really outside the key. One being a half step above one being a half step below, and the last one being a major third away from the key. Let us just concentrate on playing that half step above. So with that being said, take the key, we're gonna stick with G for this instance, and go a half step above. So G a half step above is G sharp or A flat, however you like to think of it. And now you're gonna play the major pentatonic built off of A flat. All right, so for that case, it would be A flat, B flat, C, E flat and F. All right, so use the major pentatonic built a half step above. Now the placement of this pentatonic is what's gonna be key in making it sound outside. What we wanna concentrate on for this example is that fourth bar. There's many other places you can use it. You can honestly, once again, you can use it anywhere. But for this practice purpose, let's just use it on the fourth bar. And so now I'll play it, uh, I'll just play a normal pentatonic scale, once again, major pentatonic built off the minor third, but when I get to the fourth bar, I'm going to use the pentatonic built off the half step above, and let's see what that sounds like. Oh. So one thing that you might have noticed, when I went back to the fifth bar, I returned back to using uh, the other pentatonic scale built off the minor third of the key. So hopefully this isn't too confusing. Once again, check out my website. I have a PDF of all of it. You can, some people like to look at it and it's an easier learning process. But the key here is just to use it on that fourth bar and then immediately return uh, back to using that original pentatonic that we started off with. Uh, now, 
One other thing that makes this sound good is using it in sequences. So if you don't know what I mean by sequences, it's taking uh, basically like a pattern. Uh, check this out. I'll play a pattern based off that uh, the, the B flat uh, major pentatonic scale. And all I did there, <coughs> I'm gonna die. And all I did there was essentially play alternating it, kind of like in thirds, if you want to think of it that way. I just alternating it, playing, uh, playing it down, if I can speak correctly. Now what I'll do is I'll play the same pattern, just using that half step above, and let's see what that one sounds like. So we have. So exact same pattern, but all I did that time was play it based on the, the A flat major pentatonic. So what I mean by it sounds best in sequences, check this out. I'll play it with an example. I'll play a sequence in my original pentatonic, then I'll play another sequence in that half step above pentatonic. Let's see what that sounds like. Two, three, And so there you have it. Now, what I want you to do is experiment with the blues changes and see where you can input this. Like I said, the fourth bar is just the start. Use your ear and kind of navigate through the changes. Once again, this is just a tip uh, as far as what you can use to play. By any means, don't go on the bandstand or improv and think, okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'll play this pentatonic pattern and then I'll take it a half step up. And I mean, maybe you could think of it that way. This is just a practice technique, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, smash the like button, comment, subscribe, do all those things, and I'll catch you on the next video. Out.